This video is sponsored by Away. What's up everyone? My name is Sarah Dietschy, Ryan Sapici. I live in New York City and I'm going to give you five tips you need to know before visiting this beautiful, smelly city. Number one, you arrive in New York, you get off the plane, you need to go to your hotel or Uber. There's actually going to be multiple people waiting in the terminal that will ask you... Do you need an Uber? Yeah. Don't take this ride. You haven't booked it in the app and they're just randoms who are gonna swindle you out of your money. So you can take the train, you can take a taxi, you can take an Uber. Those are the ways how to get to your hotel, but don't do this, okay? That'll be $300. What? Taking an Uber or a Lyft from one of the three NYC airports is probably the easiest way to get to your destination. Just make sure you use the actual app to book your car and only get in the car with the matching license plate. If you're not familiar with New York City geography, so there's basically Manhattan right in the middle. To the east, you have Brooklyn, Queens to the west, you have Jersey. JFK is probably the most popular airport, so that's why I'm gonna talk about the air train. After you get off your flight, you follow the air train signs, you hop on the train, and there's two destinations that you should care about. You'll either end up at the Jamaica Station or Howard Beach, depending on what train will take you into the city. At Jamaica Station, there is the E train and the LI RR. At Howard Beach, there is the A train. Once you get off the air train, you can buy a Metro card. And you just swipe it and it charges you $5 for taking the air train. So you exit the air train, but you're still not in Manhattan. You have to hop on a subway. Type in your hotel, your destination into Google Maps, and it'll tell you to take the E or the A, or maybe the L-I-R-R, -R, which will take you directly to Penn Station. It'll just be a little bit more expensive than the typical 275 subway fare. So when you get off the air train, make sure you have at least 775 on this car. So don't be afraid to take the air train from JFK. Just factor in uh, an hour, an hour, 20 minutes it'll take to get you to your destination but hey seven bucks over fifty dollars sixty dollars for an uber listen john so many people are scared of the subway but right. it really is the best way to get around in new york don't oh, be no, scared i got this i got don't this. be scared you got deal. this all right let's do this i'm so proud of him he's gonna he's gonna crush it it's really not that hard actually i love the subway no 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 no, no. The subway, public transportation, it was... Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Number two, it's the most important one. How do you get around New York City on the subway? I promise you, it's not as intimidating as you think. I used to be terrified of it the first couple times I came up, but it's gonna save you a lot of money. Do not Uber everywhere. Take the subway. In order to get around the subway, it is one swipe with the Metro card and it's 275. It doesn't matter if you're going one stop or 20 stops, it's just that one fare of 275. This same card works on the buses, but let's focus on the subway because really all you need to do is travel north and south and you can probably walk to your final destination. You're gonna be doing a lot of walking in New York. Wear your, wear your good tennis shoes. Okay, so listen, Google Maps is going to be your best friend when you're in New York. So download Google Maps if you don't have it already. The most important thing that you need to know in order to understand what Google Maps is telling you, is your point B north of you or south of you? Uptown or downtown? And then what subway lines to take? Let's take the subway line, the ACE for example. So it runs on the west side of Manhattan, runs all the way from the top of Central Park, all the way down to the World Trade Center. When you see those three letters and they're all blue, that means typically these three lines are going to run on the same subway line. So generally they're gonna be making the same stops, but some of them will be express and some of them will be local. So the A is the express line. It skips some stops and it'll get you to your destination faster. Google Maps will tell you which ones that you can take. So let's say I'm at Times Square and I wanna do the journey downtown to the World Trade Center. So look, right now it takes less amount of time to take the subway than a car and it's gonna be cheaper. So you hit the subway and then look, you have all the different options of the trains that you can take. So you're closest to the one, two, three line, um, but you can also take the E. To understand that you're going south, you're at Times Square. So let's click the top option, the one, two, three and it will show your journey. 
you can zoom in to see how far you have to walk. So it's only two blocks of walking to get to the 123 subway station. And it'll take you all the way down to the World Trade Center down here. It'll show you all the stops in the middle that you'll hit. And then the final destination is Chamber Street. And that's when you get off. And then if you wanted to take the E-Line, it'll show you where to walk to. You get down in the subway and you'll be seeing the A, the C, and the E all going on similar tracks. But only get on the E train. You'll see a physical letter on the train. Only take the E because that's what goes all the way down to the World Trade Center. So 42nd Street, World Trade Center, you get on the E, and then the final stop was called World Trade Center. Okay, now that we got the subway out the way, now we're on to the easy stuff, jaywalking. Everyone jaywalks here. They don't pay attention to the walk and stop sign. So if you're on your phone, heads down, and you see someone go, and oh, that means I can go. No, they're probably just a New Yorker who needs to get somewhere fast and doesn't care if they get hit by a car. Hey, let's live on the edge. A lot of streets in Manhattan are one way, so if you're paying attention, you don't see any cars, yeah, just cross. You don't have to wait for the little walking man. But don't start walking just because other people are walking, because it's probably likely that they're just risking their lives in order to gain a few seconds. Guilty, you know? Also a good walking general rule is just stay to your right. If you have to be on your phone or you're walking slow, and if you're on an escalator and you're not walking up the escalator, just stay to your right because there's people who are just, they are on a mission. They want to get to somewhere fast and if you're in front of them stopping them, well, that's not cool. Do you mind turning on the AC? It's kind of hot. Rolling down the windows is not the same thing. Uh, we, we just missed our turn again for the third time. If you want, I can use your phone and put in the address so we're not just going a circus over. <laughs> cash you guys are in the cash cab. It's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. Number four, don't rent a car. Do not rent a car. I taught you how to use the subway. You can use the sub, literally you can go anywhere you need in New York via the subway. You wanna go to Brooklyn, you wanna go to Queens, subway. You need to go anywhere in Manhattan, you wanna visit Central Park, you wanna visit World Trade Center, the subway. Again, wear your comfy shoes cause you're gonna do a lot of walking but everything is so accessible via the subway and walking. Don't rent a car, parking here is Awful. I had to park a car here once and it cost me $50 for just a couple hours. So, and then when you're tired and you don't want to do the subway or walk, just Uber. Uber, Lyft, hail a taxi if you're in a populated place and they're all over the place. Usually taxis and Ubers are pretty comparable uh, in terms of how expensive it is. It'll probably be around $15 to $25 to get anywhere. But if there's a ton of traffic and you're going to be sitting in that car, taxis get so expensive so quick. So it's really just a convenience thing. If you're in a hurry and you see a taxi, their numbers are lit up at the top, that means they don't have a passenger. Whip up that, that arm, hail a taxi, and you're good to go. Shout out to Away for sponsoring this video. This is their carry-on size. Uh, it comes in four different sizes and many different colors. This is literally my go-to wherever I travel. So if you come to New York, you gotta come in style. It has 360 degree wheels. It has a TSA lock up at the top. In the back, there is a charger for all of your USB needs. And they have so many good travel products. I use their backpack all the time. Storage cubes, many different colorways. The sky's the limit. Also, Away has your back. They will give you a lifetime warranty. So if anything breaks, you send it to them. They fix it or they'll replace it for free. So if you want $20 off your first suitcase, go to awaytravel.com slash Sarah Dietschy. Ooh, it's getting loud out here in New York. That's the other thing. This place is loud. <laughs> uh, but you can use my code Sarah Dietschy to get $20 off. I don't even know why, honestly, you're still watching this video. Check it out. I gotta go. Point number five, the last point, let's go. You know what, I do wanna say one more thing that I was reminded as I'm like out and about in the NY streets. This thing is so durable. Do you see these nasty sidewalks? I can't tell you how much camera gear I've transported in this from my apartment to the office to the airport. It's durable. Number five, this is just gonna be some general recommendations from us. There's a lot of fellow YouTubers and bloggers and I'm gonna link in the description below for more neighborhood tours and recommendations. This video is just a little bit too narrow for that. I've been in New York for three years. You too? I've been here for two years. Yeah, so here's just some recommendations. 
That'll be like the little cut to the next part. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Since I'm vegan in New York City, there's a million options and the two places I go to all the time, Beyond Sushi, and by Chloe. By Chloe is really good for the people who actually aren't vegan too. So if you're like the one vegan in the family, everyone will enjoy it. That guacamole black bean burger and Don't fries. Don't even get me started though, bro. All over the city, there are sweet greens. This is my personal favorite because it's just a good old fresh salad. Don't be intimidated by the long line. It'll go by, it'll go by like that, sweet green. You know, just the people need that, that kick of healthiness. They're, they're overeating hot dogs on the streets. Don't eat street food. Pretzels are good. Have you actually had a pretzel? I have. It was delicious. The, the thing is... I was only sick for one week, but it was worth it. <laughs> So you've gone to Times Square, you've seen the beautiful lights, you've gone down to Soho and done some shopping. You can actually do a lot of like high fashion shopping off Fifth Ave too, if you're interested in that, but Gucci, 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 that just means money, 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 fly away from your wallet. <laughs> The point is you've done the touristy stuff, but if you want some chill vibes. I actually go up to the Upper East Side all the time with my booster board. I just go up and enjoy the residential area. It's mm -hmm. super quiet over there and it's right next to Central Park. Yeah, and it's like a lot of old money. So you get to see some really cool architecture uh, in the form of just like five floor walk-ups. It's beautiful. And the Met's up there too, that iconic museum. There's actually multiple museums. There's multiple museums. You can sort of hang out there all day. What's up, you Upper East Siders? Today gossip I'm gonna girls. Gossip Girl. You can go sit on the steps at the Met. That's what they did in Gossip Girl. I always do work in coffee shops and in New York, I would avoid going to Starbucks. Just go to Gregory's. It actually has a place to pee, AKA a bathroom and they have plugins everywhere as well. It's a really nice atmosphere. It's basically Starbucks with more room because Starbucks here, are just kind of dirty. They get super crowded super fast. Yeah. What if this video goes viral and then you ruin Gregory's for everyone? Just make sure it doesn't get that many views. Do a bad thumbnail. Okay. If you're trying to get around the city faster, I would use my booster board, but if you're visiting, they have city bikes, don't be afraid to use them. They're extremely easy. Mm -hmm. And while everybody else is walking on Brooklyn Bridge and taking pictures, which is amazing, you can just go in the bike lane across Manhattan Bridge and there's spots for you to stop, take pictures. Mm -hmm. I actually recommend that route. Yeah, but don't stop in the middle of the bike lane. Wait until you have those actual, what are they called, alcoves? Yes. Or outlooks, yes. that's where you stop and take pictures. If you have a city bike or you just wanna walk along the water, the West Side Highway is beautiful. And also on the East Side, there's this really good brunch place called Industry Kitchen, where you can go and see the big boats. There's literally like a pirate ship boat over there. And yeah, you can see all of Financial District and beautiful Brooklyn. It's just a, it's a really good spot on the East Side River. And don't be afraid to walk around Manhattan pretty much at any time of the day. It's much safer than a lot of people think. And it's also completely compact with a ton of people at all times. So you always have people surrounding you. It's pretty comforting. Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind people, because it's like. But I like it. Yeah. John, thank you so much for helping course, me out dog. in this video. You're always the homie. My link is in the description down below. If you go down there and click it and go to my channel, hit the subscribe button, you will literally Okay, be so today. John's also a YouTuber if you wanna check him out. His link will be right below the away link. Make sure to check that out as well. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. I make videos about tech and creativity and hey, sometimes New York City because I love the city that I live in. Thanks, John. What do, we, what do we say around here? We always say stay, stay peachy. peachy. Okay, okay, bye. Oh, you actually took that seriously. Yeah, dude, I don't play games.